So welcome everyone. We are here today with Jamie McKibben, who is the author of the book, So You Want Your Kid to Play Pro Hockey. Welcome, Jamie. Thanks for having me, Wendy. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, throughout my childhood, all I could think about was playing hockey. I would spend hours and hours in my backyard on a 10 by 20 foot uh, concrete slab just shooting puck after puck in, in, into a net. And, uh, and hockey really kind of took over my life as I progressed through university and then eventually playing some pro. Growing up, I was never really a star on my team per se. I was always actually about a year behind everybody because I was born in December. And a lot of, some studies show that a lot of athletes that progress are born in the first quarter of the year. Right. So it, it kind of put me at a disadvantage because I was always the smallest kid. Yeah. My confidence was always down, and that was that was something that was tough for me growing up. So as I, as I progressed along, I always had a dream of playing in the NHL. I think everybody always does when they start. And then, uh, and it was always tough at every level. I had the scratch and claw, and I had to work hard for everything that I got. So I think as I as I got older and I started to understand things better, uh, I think that kind of work ethic carried me a lot farther than maybe maybe I should have as a player. But yeah, I would say you know it was it was tough kind of sledding along and I think that's why uh, writing this book I really wanted to to show people that you know you don't always have to be a superstar there's other ways to to reach your goals. When I was a kid I, I read autobiographies on Wayne Gretzky and Eric Lindros and uh, Mario Lemieux. These are players that you know you read these autobiographies it's like a fantasy. They, they were always the star that everything came easily and I think you kind of get delusional about that thinking that that's how life's supposed to be. So then uh, but as you go through the trials and tribulations and things are difficult, I always believe that saying, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, in the sense that you, you kind of learn from these situations and you're, and you're always pushing yourself and, and, and every time you come out of a situation or come out of some adversity, it, it builds your character and that character, you always hear character, they talk about it at every level of hockey, especially the higher levels, Char this kid's got character, this player's got character. And, you know, these are all things that help build this character. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.